Welcome back, guys. Uh, we're going to talk about how different cooling a TEC is to cooling a CPU. Even though the TEC water block ultimately cools the CPU, its design is quite different for a number of reasons, and we're going to talk about them. So, let me select the red color. So this here is the TEC. Now this is all to scale. Oh, I don't know. I should pre-write this, shouldn't I? This here is the CPU. Uh, this here is the IH integrated heat spreader. And this here is the core. Now normally there would be something like this. You wouldn't normally differentiate between the core and the heat spreader because you'd only ever see that. But I have with my simulations because this is actually where the heat comes from. There's actually an, a gap there. And here it is here taken from the from Intel's own documentation. This is the integrated heat spreader. We've got our actual die here and all this other rubbish, which does stuff. But we only care about cooling this bit here. Right. So this is to, this is not to scale, but this is 62 millimeters wide. From let me just change that back to red. From here to here is 62. So you can tell there's a huge difference in size between a TEC's width and a core. That's about 10 mils. So we need to take all the heat which comes out of here And we need to transfer it across here, which is our TEC. And that's why we have this heat spreader. We want to take this. We can obviously use the Intel's own heat spreader. A bit of heat goes along here too. We want to transfer all the heat out here. And up here. so it can go up through my TEC. Now ideally, we'll transfer all this, the CPU's heat evenly across here. So it goes through the TEC evenly, and it all comes out here. And there should be some water in here. And you can say the water comes in here and goes out here. Obviously it's cold over here and gets hotter over here. Now I should mention why there's a step over here. And that is to essentially get round or over if you like capacitors and all other random stuff which might be sitting in here on the motherboard. So that's why that is there. Now we're going to talk about why is it important to evenly move that across there on a horizontal plane. Like why, why does it matter? Why do we need this? Could we not just get rid of this whole uh, block of copper? and just mount the whole CPU straight up against here? Well, the, basically the answer is that the TEC has virtually no ability to transfer heat that way or that way. It does have a slight amount, 
Now that still doesn't really answer why does it matter. And here is a picture of the inside of a TEC. And you will see all of these. Now you will have, depending on what kind of TEC you buy, this one's got 199 of these. Now if you have a 200 watt TEC, that means each one of these does one two hundredths of that. Now it's quite important to understand that if you only call this, the center of the block, then only this part is going to be able to transfer heat. If you call the entire block slash TC, then the whole thing will be able to transfer heat. That's why it's very important for our heat spreader to be there because we need to transfer the heat you're trying to move from the CPU to the entire TEC evenly across it. Now if you apply the majority of the heat to the center and only small amounts to the outside, you're not going to get 200 watts of cooling power. You're only going to get maybe a quarter of that. If you only did the center and you covered 25% of it or cooled 25% of it, then you're only going to get 25% of the maximum. That's why it's very, very important to cover the whole thing. You need to cover the whole thing with a uh, ability to remove the heat from it and you need to sp spread the heat coming from this CPU across it evenly. So that's why we have the heat spreader to take the heat from a very, very, very small uh, location from here and we want to move it evenly out across here. So it can then evenly go through here to maximize the cooling. If you don't, then you'll only get whatever percentage of cooling. So you do want a lopsided cool your TEC. Now, if you look at a normal CPU water block, it won't look like that at all. Water block obviously won't have this integrated heat spreader. Uh, so we can ignore that. They are only interested in cooling this bit here. So they will direct all water to here with maximum force and maximum efficiency to cool this little bit as much as possible. Now they don't care about moving the heat left or right at all. Well actually they do slightly but they don't actually care about it and that's why if you use a normal water block on a TEC it's not very good at all because they're, all they're concerned about is cooling the very center. They don't want to spread it left or right. The other thing you'll find is that with a normal water block to improve performance they will generally have a bow to this. So this water block will normally be have a slight bow to it like that to ensure that the maximum pressure of the block against the CPU so it actually be like this to ensure that the maximum amount of force actual physical pressure against the CPU is in the center. There's nothing worse than having a, a concave block like that, oh. meaning there's actually, oh, I'll redraw that, like this, so there's actually a uh, air gap in here, which you then come along and put your um, thermal paste in. So you're far better at having a slight bow to that. 
and of course it assumes that this integrated heat spreader is actually flat in the first place. Now that does come to another very important, very, 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 very important part of this whole process. And that is this TEC should be perfectly flat, unlike my crazy drawing. It shouldn't look like what I've just drawn. And so it's very, very, very important that the copper block and the heat spreader is both flat. Now it gets quite an exaggerated because the TC is jolly flipping huge, 62 millimeters, that any slight variance can end up being quite a big concave or convex. You know, something like this, or something like this. And that means that there will be either a gap on the sides, or there will be a gap in the center. Now, that will get filled up by your thermal interface. It does have other problems, is that you can actually crack the TEC, because you're applying uneven pressure if this if this is not flat that's not flat and you apply a lot of pr physical pressure we're talking about to this and to this then our perfectly flat TC goes crack by the way if it does go crack it doesn't matter it, it will still work uh, have a picture The only thing, as long as the as long as the electrical connections are still there, it'll be fine. And from my experience, you can actually crack them quite an, a lot, and it will still be fine. But as long as the electrical connection connections are still there, it should be right. Don't know how long it'll last, but it should be fine. It's fairly soft, in my opinion, the inside, so it should be all right. So that is the general premise of a TEC block. First of all, you need to throw any preconceptions on how to build a water block because they only care about cooling the center. They only care about this. That's it, because we're only trying to cool this thing here. Whereas on a TEC, we're trying to cool all of this. And that's why we have a heat spreader to move it from in here out to there evenly. So hopefully that explains all the difference between a TEC water block that's been designed to cool TECs and a water block that's designed to cool CPUs and why you need a heat spreader. Uh, this also means that if you use my TEC water blocks on a CPU, it shouldn't be very good at all because it's worried about trying to cool the entire surface, not the center. But you shouldn't be using it for that anyway. Catch you on the next one, guys. Um, if you want me to cover something, actually, um, check out the notes and I will add it to the list because I'm just randomly doing these on what I've thought up. be nice to get some feedback. Please subscribe. Hopefully these are of help. Thanks guys. Bye bye.